So what's up guys, your boy Tubes, and we're back here with another video. They are back here with a Bosch showcase. I recently pulled for Bosch and got managed to get his LD and his EX. So we'll do a bit of a showcase for him and showcase of what he got, his rework, his LD and everything like that. So yeah, let's get into it. Bosch is a tank and he has an ABC slot and he has the yellow crystals. So let's get into it. Bosch's first ability is called Fulminating Darkness. It is a 5 hit AoE Brave to AoE HP attack with 180% overflow that deals split damage to all targets. It has increased critical brave damage by 60% and he gains 40% cash back based on HP damage dealt. He grants himself the Kingdom Shield and HP damage resist for 6 turns and inflicts lock on all enemies for 5 turns. His second skill is Rune and Pendant, it is a 4 hit Brave to HP attack single target with 175% overflow. He has increased critical Brave damage by 50% and he batteries the parry based on 25% HP damage dealt. And he also heals himself based on 50% HP damage dealt up to 30% max HP. And he grants himself the Knight's Aptitude buff. His second skill is called Flame Purge, it is a 3 hit Brave to HP attack single target 175% Overflow that's executed twice. He heals his HP based on 60% HP damage dealt, up to 40% max access to Brave. However, when he has 50% more HP, he has Flame Purge Plus, which increases the hits to 4, and the Overflow to 220%, and the heal based on 110%. His LD ability, which is his new Weapon is called Indomitable Palisade. It is an AoE Brave AoE HP attack with 200% overflow and it deals split damage and he gains cashback based on 30% HP damage dealt. He grants himself the Indomitable buff and he grants himself also the Kingdom Shield and HP damage resist and uses lock, inflicts lock for 5 turns. With his LD ability, he gets access to Brave Plus Plus and HP Plus Plus. Brave Plus Plus is a patch. <laughs> <laughs> it batches the parry based on his attack and he does a 2 hit brave attack. HP attack plus plus is a 3 hit brave to HP attack, 120% overflow, and batches the parry based on 20% HP damage dealt. And he also kills himself based on 20% HP damage dealt, which is very nice. So, yeah, let's get into Bosch's buffs now. His Kingdom Shield is a brave damage reduction 60% and last than 50%. And any AoE damage is directed to him. And if it's splash or split, he takes all of it himself. His HP damage resist reduces the HP damage incoming by 60%. So you kind of get an idea of what Bosch is about. He pretty much directs all the damage to him and reduces it by a significant amount. His Knight's Aptitude buff is a 40% attack max break to himself, which is very nice. His Damascus Valiant is a party attack 25% and max break 45%, which is really nice as well. His Indomitable buff is attack 40% to himself and overflow 30%. And when he takes HP damage, that and when his HP drops below 50%, he restores himself back to 50%, which is really, really good. And his LD ability also grants 60% attack and 30% max brave, which is also very nice, as you can see at the total party auras and buffs. Yeah, so he grants 95% attack, 75% max brave and 10% max HP to the party and he takes up zero buff slots which is very nice so yeah what do I think about Bosch's rework and LD Bosch's rework fixed his biggest issues where his provoke times were very short and his buff times were really short as well and them giving him extended buff times and provokes really helps and his LD just makes gives turns Bosch into a whole new beast. Pretty much, he is almost unkillable because literally, if he drops below fifty percent HP, he will heal himself instantly back to fifty percent HP. And Bosch is another tank that has the last stand passive. If that he drops to below fifty, if he gets attacked, that will instantly kill him. He would uh he will survive at one HP. Keep in mind, Bosch also reduces all the damage he takes by 60%. So, they're very, it's very unlikely he will actually hit 1 HP. And even if he does, he'll just heal himself back up to 50% and be able to absorb another meat shield attack, which is very nice. 
He is very, very self-sustainable. He has very accessible healing in true C sorry, yeah, C65, his S2 and his EX. He has very good party battery for the party for, with his HP Attack Plus Plus and his S2. His EX is also very fast because he actually gets a recast up on his in his EX Plus. It's a skill and HP Plus gives him great longevity. And his ores are ridiculous. 95% attack. And he takes up zero buff slots. Jesus, man. This guy's a beast. Now, Barsh does pose a few issues. One, he eats up his own buff slots. Like, that is... Like, five buffs is kind of nasty. Like, we all slay Walker for having lots of buffs. This guy is no better than Walker when it comes to buff slots, which is kind of nasty. And, um... He is quite slow, I noticed. So, yeah, he though enemies can possibly wear down his provoke times, which is kind of nasty. And that's and well, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. Like, he has very few weaknesses, like, he has a lot of strengths. I'll say that about Bosch. Uh, so yeah, that's what I have to say about Bosch. And we'll get into gameplay showcase right about now. Okay, we're back with the gameplay showcase. This is what my boss is looking like. Uh, for artifacts, I would definitely say the best in slot is 108, 330. I'm going for C50 mainly because I want my boss to be really thick in HP. But I would definitely say if you want to go for best in slot at this point in time, 108, 330. Maybe in the future, 108, C50 cause due to what he gets. But yeah, I only went for this because I want my boss to be really thick. And for spheres, uh, A and C, A is very flexible. So C, B, I would say the best ones will be Celeste, Zach, himself, and Gabrant. And Snows would be the best. And the rest of them are definitely not favorable. So yeah, that's what my team's looking like. It's Bosch, Garland, and Trey. Uh, we're not bringing the healer, mainly because we don't need to at all. And we are going to bring a Leo friend. So yeah, let's get into it. So we start off with Tracy X. Then we start off with Gardens LD. And bosses are pretty much only aura bot battery and source of tanking HP damage. So we use Bosch's S1. Almost go raining arrows. And boss tanks that for our team. And Garland and the Raining Arrows activates. And now we're going to round edge with Garland. Then we're going to run Pendant. Then HP Plus. Then we're going to dynamite the tray. And then Bosch is going to just take this, eat this HP attack for our team. Just HP attack plus. Then we're just going to. Uh, I'm just going to pop C65. And we're going to use Rondos here. We're back to Trace EX.
Don Bosch is just going to eat the attack again. And Bosch can use the X. And Bosch is going to eat another HP attack for us. We're going to use Garden ZX. God damn, this guy does so much damage. Jesus. We're going to go to arrows. Then I'm going to HP plus. Then I'm going to Solar Chaos. Man, this man Garden hits so hard. I'm not just going to HP plus with Trey because this guy's almost dead. And then I'm going to HP plus with Garden as well. Then Rune and Pendant. Then I'm going to HG attack plus the tray. And I'm going to HG attack plus the garden to kill. So now here's the boss. Uh, the boss does have a HP, max HP down aura, which is kind of nasty. And Garden's EX is almost up, but we are going to actually just go to. C65 actually. Oh, his LD buff is already gone. Oh, that's not good. Well, we just have to build up the stacks again, which is not too much. Then we're going to use Trace EX. Then we're going to use Indominable Palisade. Then we're going to use Round Edge, delay everyone. Then I'm going to use Raining Arrows. Then I'm going to use Flame Parge Plus. I'm going to use Garden DX, which is just going to do a truckload of damage. Jesus Christ, this guy does so much damage, man. Then Dynamite. Dynamite goes off. Then we're going to actually solar chaos again. Rune pendant. Then we're going to Grand Delta. Then 
And the boss is going to absorb all our brave and spare back hours. So the boss is just going to eat a huge HP attack. As you can see, his LD pass are kicked in. Then we're just going to HP plus. The raining arrows. Then we're going to use Garen ZX. This guy has a truck load. Alright guys, we'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, we're back. So, let's use Bosch's EX. I want to dynamite. And he's going to resurrect his ads, which is fine. So the garden just delays him. Then we're going to full blind darkness. Then trace the X's back. Then we're going to round edge. Actually, I think it was. Yeah, we're going to round edge. No, oh, uh, we actually have to LD to keep our stacks up. Then we're going to run pendant. That's fine. Then we get rain arrows. Then guns are going to go around edge. I think I'm going to plan and summon roughly when. I think I'm going to plan summon now. Yeah, I think I'm going to summon now. Then have Garden just delay them to crud. And this is going to be a really good Garden DX cast. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Garden, that is disgusting. And Trace Dynamite goes off. I think I'm going to sub out Trey for Leo. Ah, oh, he, oh, he inflicted it at the right target as well, which is good. So we're just going to Master Blade here. Then we're going to LD. Then we're going to delay the garden. Then we're going to masturbate with Leo. Then 
Oh Gott, HP Plus. I think we're going to round edge to. I think we're going to. Yeah, we're just going to solo kill. That's fine. And Garden's just going to go crazy since we have the Leo debuff on. So we're going to Master Plate again. And we're going to Flame Purge Plus. That's fine. And Garden is just going to go crazy again with the X. Jeez, this guy hits so hard, man. Jeez. His LD really just buff, buffed him up like to a new level. Then we're going to Master Blade again. Going to Solar Chaos. I'm going to Master Blade again. They're going to ruin the pendant. They're going to grant out of the tray. And now we have B, and now we're just going to use Garden's LD again. And now it's pretty much a game of just pretty much get him killed. And now we're going to take people to Bosch. Now we're going to Solar Chaos. And rain arrows. We're actually going to ruin him pendant so we can give Garden more battery for his EX. Now Garden is just going to go crazy. That speed down is really helping us as well. Then HP, then we got a launch. I <laughs> need Garden delays in midair, which is kind of funny. And I'm actually going to. Wait, we have Garden, so that's fine. So I'm just going to Fame Purge Plus. I'm going to round edge. Then we're going to EX for tray again. Then we're going to solar chaos. Then we're going to indomitable policy. I'm not just going to hit your plus here. I'm actually going to hit your plus with Garland so we can get. Because he's going to do that. And he actually missed, which is odd. we go, Rain Arrows. I'm going to go C65. I'm 
going to go next. Jesus Christ, God, he does so much damage. Now, the issue we're going to have is Garland's uh, LD buff is going to wear it down. And that's actually like a 50% speed down. So, yeah, this boss is going to, like, shoot up in turn count. Then we're going to use Dynamite. And I think it's going to summon ads again now. Yes. That's fine. Uh, luckily, this time, if he... Luckily, the uh, boss doesn't... Uh, if I like, kill the main boss, the ads do actually die. And Brave Tackle Garland. But yeah, Garland feels ridiculous now. Then we're going to do Grand Delta. Then Silver Chaos. Oh, and then we're going to. Oh, we're going to C65, do we? Disaster Chaos. I think should probably, jeez, Jesus Christ, Garland. And Garland just gets the final kill with his Disaster of Chaos. See, that's been the Bosch Showcase. Uh, Bosch is actually fantastic, as you can see. He just soaks up everything. And, his, and we didn't even need a healer or a support, because Bosch's ores were just enough. And yeah, that's been your Bosch Showcase. I think Bosch is just ridiculous as of now. And yeah, I definitely think he's worth picking up if you guys want to pick him up. So yeah, it's been your boy Tubes, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.